Has, has it been two hours? Yeah. Hey, <laughs> so it's been two hours, and apparently, apparently the Run Disney site doesn't know how to, like, set itself up to take registrations. So, like, with many other people, we're just kind of wondering... I was trying. <laughs> hey, 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 everybody. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Uh, here we are with uh, some updates. Uh, you notice by our intro, uh, we try to sign up for uh, the Disneyland half. Whew, boy. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, basically, this week, I, like last week, we really decided that we should probably sign up for the Disneyland Half Marathon. Mm -hmm. Two reasons. Uh, the first one is the theme is adventure, and we're always on adventure with you. We have to. So it just fit. I mean. Secondly, we bought annual passes for this year, so, <laughs> you know, we may as well, yeah. because we have, we have the tickets for this year. We are magic key holders. So, um, we decided to devote a bunch of time on Tuesday to registering for the race. Mm -hmm. Um, if you were following that, uh, brouhaha, you know, it didn't happen. Um. What a mess. We tried for three hours. Yeah. And then they finally called it. Mm -hmm. And as of right now, there's still no ETA Nothing. on when registration will be. Yeah. Um, apparently, Oogie Boogie Bash had something similar either last year or the year before. Mm -hmm. And it took two weeks before signups for that started again. So we'll just wait. <laughs> you know, it's kind of interesting because a lot of people are like, oh, you need to go to this. Or, oh, you need to do that. Or, you know what? This, this didn't happen years ago. When it was active.com? Yeah. During the yeah. registration? So, I, you know, I, yeah. I, nobody really knows what's going on. I mean, there are a lot of rumors that we're not going to share. Mm -hmm. uh, but, it, it, you know, it's pretty interesting. So we're a little disappointed, and now we're a little like, uh, ooh, man, are we even going to get in? Because Adventure is calling. Adventure is calling. <laughs> and Safari Mickey is so cute. I know. <laughs> so anyway, that got us kind of thinking about running again, because... Yep. We haven't been running, no. not really, since no, well. uh, here and there, but yeah, yeah. not really. Yeah. Um, one fun, just a little side note, uh, one fun thing we did this week, David got our um, old bicycles tuned up, so we got to go for a bike ride, and so we're sore head to toe for some reason, even though that's just really kind of working your legs, so yeah. we're, we're hoping that that'll be like some fun cross-training to yeah. get some weird muscles built up yeah. as we think about training. Right. In thinking about training and trying to register for this race, um, I kind of mapped out the rest of our year. <laughs> uh, and by year, I mean like 12 months. So going through like May of next year. Mm -hmm. um, of trips, races, vacations, whatever. I've, I've mapped out pretty much our next year of vacation. Yeah. Um, spoiler, there's a lot of Disney in there. Again, we <laughs> bought annual passes yeah. this year, so we're going to really milk it yeah, yeah. as much as we can. Yeah. But um, it caused me to like think about the different races that we have, when we might want to start race, uh, training for that. Um, so I've started to kind of tentatively map out what we're going to do. It looks like we're going to start training in August. It's pretty ambitious. <sighs> yeah. So here's here's something else that's different this year. So um, we're, we're hoping to get into the Disneyland Half Marathon. Um, three weeks after that, whether or not we get into that, we're signing up for the El Paso Marathon, full marathon. That race has a six hour cutoff, which is a little bit faster than we how we run, run now. Yeah. So our training is going to be consciously trying to maintain a 13 minute mile, mm -hmm. at least. Um, that'll give us a little bit of buffer. Mm -hmm. um, and normally we kind of slow down quite a bit when we're doing that kind of distance, mm -hmm. but we live at altitude. Mm -hmm. Um, we're doing hill training mm -hmm. by default because we don't have a choice. <laughs> yeah, right. And so, um, we're hoping that if we're consciously training to a specific time combined with the altitude training combined with, um, the hills, we'll be able to carry through. When we ran the Disneyland half this year, um, we, and I looked at our second half. So our first half was filled with like 15,000 bathroom stops. So we can't trust our, both of us, but. We can't trust our times on that, but the second half of the race, we were maintaining like a 12.45 to 3, yeah. 13.30 yeah. 
kind of time frame. So I think if we tried, we can probably hopefully get to 13 minutes. And here's the deal too, that the, here's what gives us hope. I was sick. He was uh, sick. I was really, really sick. And um, we, we kind of weren't trying because we were basing the second half of the race on, oh man, we really, really kind of fall off near the end. Mm -hmm. So let's, let's uh, uh, preserve our energy. And at the end of the race, we're like, oh my gosh, we felt, fine. We felt great. So, so, yeah. and, and here's the other thing, you know, the whole uh, elevation training um, is, is, a, is a real thing, right? The benefits of it. I had to have some blood tests recently and uh, there was a, a marker on my red blood cells. Uh, I have a ton of red blood cells. I was like, yeah, because we live that's, at elevation. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, so, that, that's, so, yeah, so that gives us hope that yeah. we can do and this. And El Paso this isn't sea level. You know, Anaheim is sea hmm. level. El Paso, though, is like 1,000 feet and we're at 8,500 feet. So yeah, that, it's much closer yeah, to sea yeah. level. So we're hoping that that will carry yeah. us through a little What's bit. What's the next race? Yeah, so that's, that's, that's the first race. The next race, we actually had planned to sign up for, but we're now rethinking mm, yeah. with Springtime Surprise. Yeah. So in, in Florida. In Florida, the, the 10 miler. Um, and we have our room booked. Um, mm -hmm. We talked about this a few months ago. Mm -hmm. The we're, we're Disney Vacation Club, so you, you book your rooms 11 months in advance. So you really have to like be a planner to make that work. Huh. We booked that room. I think what we're probably gonna do is try to widget so that we're not there. I don't know. We're, we're, we're trying to take off fewer Sundays from work, basically, mm -hmm. is what yeah. this is boiling down to. And yeah. we had, with, through all the other races, several of them, yeah. like, kind of in a row. Yeah. So what we're going to try to do is, you know, maybe get there on Monday and leave on Saturday yeah. instead of Saturday to Thursday. So and, springtime you know. surprise looks like it's out. So no springtime surprise, but we are still planning to go to Disney World right now because yeah. we have the room booked. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then? Um, and then the end of our 40 weeks of, um, of running training... It will culminate in the Calgary Marathon. Yes. So uh, thank you to our friend Ryan for reminding yeah. us about that because yeah. that has like caused us to mm -hmm. rearrange some other stuff. Mm -hmm. But um, this year, I think we should be able to make it. Um, it has a 6.30 cutoff time. So if we can pull off <laughs> six hours at El Paso, we should be able to do, um, we should be able to do 6.30 and when at is that Calgary. One? That one is uh, the last weekend of May. It's May 26th, 25th. It's May 25th. It was 26th this year. Oof. So um, that's our running schedule. Mm -hmm. I haven't filled in yet our um, weekly mileages that we're going to try to hit, but uh, we're going to start training uh, in mid-August. I have a work trip exactly mid-August. The week after that, we're going to start training. <sighs> And we'll see how we do. Training with a goal. Training with a different kind of goal than we normally have, which yeah. is trying to get a little bit faster. Yeah. We yeah, always yeah. kind of want to get a little bit faster, but now we're actually going to try. <laughs> so we're going to see how that goes. Yeah, well, and of course, we have you know a few months in there where we're probably going to be running on treadmills. Yeah. So we're going to do our best before that point to get as much of this hill training in as possible because yeah. we, we do feel like that yeah. carried us a long way with the races that we did. Yeah, so so follow along. You'll see our training. Uh, we're going to get footage of us on uh, mountain bikes, uh, you know, mm -hmm. uh, biking around the trails here mm -hmm. uh, and uh, plenty of other, uh, you know. We have a couple other videos that haven't come to fruition yet that mm -hmm. we're kind of working on. We um, we fixed up our, our back patio and it's it's really coming together. That's right. Um, some excited, exciting updates there. Yep. Um, We've started golfing. Oh we. David already knows how to golf. He's uh, an excellent golfer. Uh, that's a lot I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, so I have started to golf yeah, yeah. with David, who has yeah. restarted to golf. Yeah. Um, so we have some fun adventures there. Yep. And we also want to share with you some of the uh, trips to new places that we went to in the area. Mm -hmm. uh, they're pretty yeah. fascinating and, and just uh, absolutely stunning to, yeah. to look at. Yeah. So stick around. You know what? If you, uh, if you could, like subscribe, <laughs> hit the notification bell. Uh, we're still here, we're still doing things, and man, we have got quite, quite a uh, lineup uh, yes. coming. Yeah, the and summer is gonna be neat. Here's the thing also I wanna mention, uh, and we're, we're gonna mention this uh, regularly, it takes a lot of planning, it takes a lot of research, and man, it takes a lot of time uh, to get all these trips uh, uh, organized in order. That's why we use the vacation year. Amazing service. Thank you, Thank Stephanie. You, Stephanie. Uh, look, uh, sure, you can do it, but we've done it for years. Yeah, but it's really just Stephanie my Martin. <laughs> Somebody else do it. Yeah, Stephanie Martin does it the best, <laughs> and it's free. 
So uh, uh, reach out. Next time you're going to plan a trip uh, to a Disney World, Disneyland, get with her and you will uh, be absolutely thrilled. Thank you, Stephanie. Uh, and we're going to mention her uh, as often as possible because, man, it has been awesome. So with that, you know what? Always an adventure with you. Stick around and let's see how things go. See you soon.